and they match. And so that is how you know that this is an official MetaZoo NFT. Hey, what's going on everybody? Andrew Stacks here. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to purchase a MetaZoo NFT, as well as how to tell if it is actually an official MetaZoo product. Mike released some really helpful information today on the Discord that I want to share with you. It also, um, it brought a lot of clarity to what these NFTs are, um, some insight into the long-term uh, hopes for them, and also just gave us just the straight up the, the right way to tell if they are official or not. Um, I'm actually shocked that there are still MetaZoo NFTs available for purchase. I think a lot of the reason is because, first of all, it's just, it's still highly speculative NFTs. They are insanely popular right now, but at the same time, um, it's it's all it's like we've only scratched the surface of it. But also, Mintable's website is honestly pretty bad. Like the user interface isn't good. Um, it's hard to navigate, and I think the fact that it is hard to navigate has made a lot of people um, think that they're not available. Because when you go at first glance, it seems like they're sold out, and you actually have to like dig to find out that they are still available. There are actually a good number still available. And um, some of them are, are the like the 50 print run NFTs. There's a few 100 runs that are left and there's a few 50 runs that are left. And um, I'm shocked that the 50 ones are left. So uh, if you want to snatch one of these up before they're gone, in my opinion, now is the time. I'm not a financial advisor. Do not make a purchase based off of my opinion. This is something that you need to decide for yourself. But I am here hopefully to clarify something, some things a little bit just based off of my experience. I hope that it is helpful. Um, if the video is helpful, please give it a like. And if you are interested in more MetaZoo content, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Um, and let's just jump into the video. I want to keep this as brief as possible. Um, let's jump right in. So the first thing I want to do is actually just help you find the MetaZoo NFTs on Mintable's website. Um, I think that that's the most important thing that I could do in this video. I think there's lots of videos on actually how to buy an NFT. So that's nothing new. But what I am wanting to help you with is how to tell if that, that it is actually official product. Um, I will at the end of the video sort of go through how to, to actually step by step make the purchase. Um, again, not financial advice. Don't do anything because I tell you to do it. Um, I'm not telling you to do anything. In fact, uh, make your own decisions, but I do want to, to just help you find it. Um, so we're on Mintable's website. Um, uh, so something that I, I found uh, really helpful was I actually bookmarked MetaZoo's uh, user profile, and I will drop a link to that in the description. I highly recommend just going straight to that link and then bookmarking it yourself because it is really hard to, the, to find. The way that you would do it, like let's say um, there were Squonk NFTs, um, I picked up one of those, like you would type in Squonk and then you would go into here and then you would try to navigate to, um, to MetaZoo's user profile. Um, which this is not listed under MetaZoo, so you have to sort of find one that is uh, connected to the MetaZoo store. But this is actually a MetaZoo official product. Uh, and I think the long short of it is that when MetaZoo uh, originally was releasing the, these NFTs, they did it uh, with a gasless um, pricing, so they didn't have to pay gas to upload them. If you don't know what gas is, Google, YouTube, NFT gas prices and somebody will tell you about it. Um, but I think that the original ones were posted to Mintable gasless store, which just means that Mike and the team did not pay gas in order to upload them, but then it actually belongs to Mintable. Um, even though it is originally created, it is still an official original MetaZoo product. Um, anyways, all of that to say, I just found one like this that actually said MetaZoo, and I clicked that, and then I booked market. So find the link in the description to the official MetaZoo uh, user profile, and just click that and go from there. So here we are on the uh, MetaZoo profile. This is the MetaZoo Games profile. We are the only official MetaZoo NFT store. Um, and so uh, just right off the bat, you can see these, like you're scrolling through and doesn't seem like there are really any available. You can go to stores, I know a lot of people go this way. And this is like, this is the official in MetaZoo store um, where they started paying gas prices in order to upload them. This is their official store. And you can see like right off the bat, there's a Bigfoot NFT that is available for purchase. The way that I think is the best way to do it is to go to this tab right here that says NFTs for sale. And you're just gonna scroll down and you're just gonna keep scrolling down until it fully loads. So I'm just gonna do that uh, really quick. 
I'm going to keep I'm going to load up the the full list of NFTs just so that you can see all of them. I think it's helpful to see all of them and just sort of see the quantities that were available. It also just is helpful to to go through and see all of them just to make sure that there aren't any down way below that are still available. Something that I've seen, which I thought was interesting, is uh, some that said they were sold and then later popped up as available. And I think that possibly what it was was maybe a transaction somewhere failed and uh, so it became available again. I'm not I'm not honestly not sure about that. That I'm not sure fully how that technically works, but um, I just like to go all the way to the bottom. So here we are at the bottom and um, what I'm going to do is just keep scrolling up now and these are these have all been sold. You can see they all say like sold for this price. Um, and so I believe all of the joint snakes have sold. We got some river dinos. Those I believe are all sold. Um, we're going to keep scrolling. Uh, there's the Mothmans. Wish I could have grabbed some of the Mothmans. We got the Jersey Devil, Flatwood Monster. Flatwood Monster is easily my favorite one, and I didn't get to grab one of those, and I'm sad about it. Uh, we got Sewer Alligator. All of these are sold out. Um, and this is not surprising. These are the more limited NFT runs. I think in the long term, all of these are going to be limited because the max, like the, the, the most available ones, were, there were only 100 made, which is still extremely limited if you think about it. Like there were 50,000 tops boxes and those sold out in seconds. Um, so the fact that there's only hundreds of um, these NFTs, uh, they're very limited product. And look, we've just popped up on our very first one that is available. So we've got Hoop Snake. I'm just going to click on this one right here. It says buy now right there. So you know it's still available. We're clicking on Hoop Snake. It's so fun. And over here, let me scroll up so my, my camera isn't blocking it. Um, let me actually just turn off my camera really quick. So you can see over here, uh, this is number 16 out of 50. Uh, if we go back, we can find, like we'll click on this other one. You can see this one is 15 out of 50. So each of them are numbered and the one that you buy is gonna be a numbered one and you're gonna be the only person with that number. So if you buy, let's see what number this one is. So this is number 19 out of 50. If you buy this one, you are gonna be the proud owner of number 19 out of 50 hoop snake and then you can click here to buy now that's with crypto or you can buy with credit card uh we'll go to that a little bit later i want to let me just go back to the list and we're going to see which other ones are available and then i'm going to show you how to verify that these are actually official metazoo nfts so we got a lot of hoop snakes those are a 50 run so i'm surprised to see the the hoop snakes there Squonk is sold out. I picked myself up a squonk. I love these. I uh, I just think that the the crying aspect of it is really fun, and it's gonna be. I think that you can use it in a fun way. You know, you can like use it as a reaction to something. Like you didn't get one of the tops boxes. You just put a little squonk emoji in the chat, and, and you know you're sad. Stuff like that. I think it's really cool that you can do that. Um, but uh, let's see. I think we got some Salem witches available. Yeah, we Salem witches. We got a, a few of those available. Okay, actually a decent amount, and those are also a fifty run. So I'm surprised that there are Salem witches left. Uh, I think we have a few GG birds. Yeah, so GG birds are available. Those are also a 50 run. Um, now we're getting up into the hundreds. Hodag was a hundred. Um, like this one, let's click this one. This one is 16 out of a hundred. So we got some Hodags available. Uh, so we're about to get up to Piazza Bird and I am so sad. I didn't pick up Piazza Bird. I didn't think it would sell out as fast as it did because there was a while where like all of these were available and so i was like oh i've got plenty of time um i ended up buying like gg bird and something else before it because they were 50 runs but these are 100 runs but these are all sold out i don't think that there are any piazza birds left for sale uh which i'm super sad about maybe i can trade with somebody at some point um but uh yeah so no piazza birds and then we got chupacabra Chupacabra, we'd have a good amount available. These are also uh, 100 ofs. And then I think the very top, we've got uh, Bigfoot. And I think that there are a few, maybe only a couple Bigfoots left. I haven't seen any so far. Oh, wow. Okay, let me see. Let me scroll down. Maybe I skipped over. Maybe I skipped over ones that are available. Um, wow. Okay, it actually looks like... The Bigfoots might have sold out. I'm not seeing any available. That's pretty crazy. I just want to do this really quick. I want to, I, earlier I saw in the store it said there was a Bigfoot. Okay, there is a Bigfoot right here. I'm really curious to see what this 
what this is and why that one says available and it wasn't available over there. MetaZoo Games, MetaZoo Games sold. Okay, so this one actually did sell. It just is still showing up as um, it's still showing up as buy now. So I, I just really think the best way to go through the list is to go through this NFTs for sale and then just scroll through. Like I said, I, I think it's the most accurate. Um, but let's just click on this one right here and I will show you how to tell that it is actually an official MetaZoo product. So um, right over here, you can see uh, original creator and then there's this creator code and um, that is the, the, the unique identifier for the person who created this NFT. And today on Discord, Mike actually posted something really, really helpful that hasn't been shared before. Um, and that is, uh, he said, at everyone, the only legit NFTs on Mintable come from this original user. And then it's this long number. Let me, let me minimize this a little bit. And let me pull up that that right there okay so we can compare um the numbers and we got uh 0x 3d d34 4b 2ffe ed f9b e10 8d4 fa 926de dfa 9a0 d6 and they match and so that is how you know that this is an official MetaZoo NFT. Um, we can go back, we can find, like, let me just scroll down to, let's do, a, let's do a Chupacabra, we'll grab this one because it's available. Uh, we got the original creator and it's the same creator code. Um, this is extremely helpful. You can check this on every single one if you wanna buy a MetaZoo NFT. If it doesn't match this code, then it's not official because this is the unique identifier for MetaZoo games. So just uh, I can link this creator code down in the in the description as well, because I think it's super, super helpful to have. But I hope that that was helpful. I think that this information, like like I said earlier, like it's just been confusing just to know because there are med there are NFTs on here that are not actually official. So you want to make sure that you're going through MetaZoo games user profile and then before you're buying, you're actually checking the unique identifier to make sure that it is the actual uh, MetaZoo Games creator. Something else I wanted to share that I thought was really cool is that uh, there is apparently like a long-term plan for these. Like Mike shared this today in the, the Discord and he said, uh, Sotheby's NFT will be the first big push of a much larger plan that involves our existing NFTs and our future NFTs. Um, and that was, I was super excited when I, I saw that. I screenshotted it right away. Um, he just, that's something that he shared like in the MetaZoo Hour uh, chat on Discord, um, which I thought that was like such a big thing for him to say. And so I'm glad I caught him saying that. But um, yeah, so I mean, if you don't know about the Sotheby's NFT, uh, Steve Aoki did a one of one NFT that is being auctioned off on Sotheby's, which is just insane, um, I believe. Uh, things I've heard people saying like his Steve Aoki's last NFT went for like eight hundred thousand dollars or something, and so it's pretty crazy uh, that this one is going up on Sotheby's. Uh, I feel like it's going to bring bring huge attention to MetaZoo uh, as well as these other NFTs. Like uh, I think that I feel like it's a fair uh, guess, and again, not financial advice. Don't do anything I say, but for me and myself, I'm kind of staking that this could bring some momentum to these smaller NFTs on Mintable um, because like, yeah, the one of one might sell for $800,000, but like these, this one is like 0 0.00284 Ethereum, which is apparently like a dollar and one cent. Um, oh, I'm covering up with my camera, but you can see it right there. Like you're, that's the price and it's like a dollar for this NFT. Um, of course you're gonna pay maybe up to $100 in gas fees. Again, Google or YouTube, what are gas fees if you don't know what that is. Um, but like in the long term, I think $100 right now is for me like a pretty comfortable amount to stake on one of these because I feel like, first of all, it just hasn't gotten the attention yet that it, that it deserves. And I think that it could actually start snowballing. But then also with Mike saying, you know, that there is actually a larger plan that involves existing NFTs and future NFTs. Like Mike hasn't missed yet. Like I think everything that he's done with MetaZoo, like 
it's it's become what he said it's going to become and so i just fully believe that these nfts um you know i'm happy that i grabbed a few uh, I've, i think i grabbed three of them no i grabbed four of them um i grabbed a squonk a hoop snake a um a gg bird and a bigfoot and uh i'm just excited i'm gonna hold them for the long term and see what they do i, I just do really believe in the plan that uh that mike has shared um, okay, so if you want, you can just shut off the video now if that was helpful. Like the rest of the video is just going to be about like actually how to buy the the NFTs on Mintable, um, which you may already know that that first part was the most important part. Um, for anybody that watched this far, uh, I just want to say thanks for watching the video. It means a lot. Um, I'm brand new to YouTube and MetaZoo content creation. Uh, I've only been into MetaZoo for maybe three, four months now, uh, but I just love this game. I love this brand. I'm super hyped to be in the Discord every day and just uh, you know seeing other content creators talking about this game. I think it's so fun. I think it has a long life ahead of it. Um, and so I hope to be making more content about it. Again, if you like the video, press like and subscribe if you're interested in more MetaZoo content. Um, I'm, I'm also a Pokemon guy. I love Pokemon. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing another video in a couple days, uh, just opening up some Celebrations product. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to have a nice balance between MetaZoo and Pokemon as I go forward because I love both. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. And for anybody who does want to know how to purchase these NFTs on Mintable, stick around. The rest of the video is going to be uh, all about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at what it looks like to purchase this NFT. Um, I'll probably go ahead and turn off my camera for th this part as well. Uh, so up here, I have this Google extension. I have my MetaMask wallet. That'll come in handy, and I'll sh that I'll we'll get into that later. Um, but uh, the first thing you want to do is actually create an account. I, I honestly don't remember. I mean, I'm sure that you go to the homepage and there's somewhere that says create account. Uh, it's been a minute since I actually signed up. But uh, what you're going to want to do is create an account, and then there's going to be somewhere where it tells you to connect a wallet. Um, and let me actually just go back to I'll go back to this camera for now because um, I feel like I'm going to be more explaining than showing anything right now. Um, so you're going to want to create an account and then once you create the account, there's going to be an option to uh, connect a wallet. And what you're going to do is click that and it's going to give you I believe that it just like suggests MetaMask as their sort of built in option. Um, I will, uh, I will link down below a link to uh, a review of MetaMask, just that it was helpful for me just to read somebody's review of uh, MetaMask as a digital wallet because you know I don't really know much about this stuff. Again, not, not financial advice, please do some research for yourself. Um, but based off what I was reading, Meta, uh, MetaMask sounded like a pretty good digital wallet just for what I needed. Like I'm not rich at all, so it's not like I'm I need like tons and tons and tons of features and like crazy security. Like um, I do believe that from what I read, like it's it's secure. It's just not like it doesn't have like all the bells and whistles that maybe some people would want. Um, but it does the job. And so you sign up for MetaMask, and then you're going to connect MetaMask to mintable and this is all like it'll walk you through how to do this on mintables account creation process like it's super straightforward um you just follow the steps step by step when you create a metamask account you're going to get this security password and uh, make sure to write that down maybe you can download it and save it the, the the text on an external hard drive that it's like a 12 word phrase or something and that is like your key to your wallet and so if if anybody got a hold of those that 12 word phrase then they would essentially own your wallet and if you ever lost it and got locked out of your wallet then you wouldn't be able to get in without it so write it down save it on an external hard drive uh, i just wanted to throw that out there but uh once we're once you are connected you're signed up then what you're going to do is you're going to go here and it's just as easy as clicking on buy now it tells you the the purchase price is uh a, it's approximately a dollar and one cent it's 0 0.00284 ethereum which equals about a dollar and one cent it tells you the current ethereum price which ethereum is currently going for about thirty five hundred dollars um and then you go to proceed to pay Something I, I forgot to say is you actually have to, once you make the Mintable or the MetaMask wallet, you have to transfer money from your, like let's say you use Coinbase, 
to buy cryptocurrency or I personally use Voyager. I love Voyager. They, they're, they're fantastic. And on, I'll actually just link uh, a link to Voyager down in the description. And I think that if you sign up, like we both get like $25 in Bitcoin or something like that, no pressure, but just did want to share because I personally use Voyager. I don't like Coinbase. Their fees are way too high and Voyager doesn't charge fees for buying or selling. It's amazing. And I think that it charges uh, with Voyager, even though there's no buy and sell transaction fees, there is a fee for transferring. I think it comes out to about $9.00. Um, last I, you know, last I did it, it was about $9 to transfer, uh, crypto from Voyager into the MetaMask wallet. And so I made the mistake of doing like three or four transfers cause I was learning. But honestly, if you know, you want to get like three or four of these, I would go ahead and transfer like, let's say $400, $300, something like that all at once, just so you're not paying, just so you're paying $9 in transaction fees versus 36 i think i did that math right i can also link a video down below that i watched that really helped me how to do this it's an awesome video um i'll link it down below and i highly recommend watching that video you know it, this is just like a, an amazing step by step where he like goes through the process of creating the account and and actually making the checkout like i didn't want to do all that on here just because i'm private up personal information and stuff like that and i don't want to like show it but he's it's a great video i'll link it down below so definitely check that out if you if you need more help than this so uh, there's there's got to be like a million videos on youtube of actually like explaining what gas fees are and all that stuff um, I know very little about it except for what I've done research for myself, but essentially gas fees are the fees that you pay to the miners that are mining the, the transaction basically. And so right now gas fees are, are pretty high. Uh, looks like we're looking at like $116 for gas fees and that money that's not like a fee to Mintable. Mintable doesn't get any of that money. That's not a fee to MetaZoo. Meta, MetaZoo doesn't get any money. The people who actually, who their computers are mining this transaction, this goes to them. And so um, I've heard gas fees being as expensive as like 300 to $400. Uh, I've noticed that if you wait till like later in the evening or even like early in the morning, um, it can be cheaper, but also like if you just keep refreshing, you're eventually going to hit a moment where there's like a little lull in the market and the gas fees go down. And it's just wild how it can go up and down in a matter of minutes. It can be $40 one minute. The next minute it could be $100. Um, the first time that I made a purchase, uh, it was $100 for gas fees. And I'd heard people saying it can be up to about 300. And so I was like, oh, I feel good about that. I'll go ahead and do it. And so I bought it. And so I think the total was like $101 just because the gas fees were $100 and the NFT itself cost a dollar. And then my next one, I actually caught it at like $37 in gas fees. And so since then, I've just tried to stay around like my target gas fee goal is like 40 to 60 dollars but anyways you would go ahead and you would confirm the transaction and then it would go through and then you would see in your mintable profile uh once you let me let me reject this transaction um you would see in your mintable profile let me go to mine you would then go to nfts and these are my NFTs right here. I've got the the Hoop Snake, GG Bird, Squonk, and Bigfoot. Love these. Yours will show up here once you make the purchase. Um, I hope that this video was helpful. Uh, don't sleep on these NFTs if you want to take the risk. They are a risky asset, um, but I think that these. I think the fact that they are still available is shocking to me. And um, I think that there will be a day when I will be grateful that I bought a few of these. I may be wrong, so I'll say it one more time. I'm not a financial advisor. Do not do anything I say. But if this is something that interests you, uh, I hope that this was helpful to uh, to push you in the right direction. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, this uh, It means a lot that you actually watched the video. Um, if anybody made it this far, um, and you want to see my only other MetaZoo content that I've made so far. Uh, again, I'm very new to this. I opened up a uh, first edition Encrypted Nation box topper just because I wanted to see for myself whether or not they actually were searchable. And they were. In fact, I was able to accurately uh, search 
what was inside. I actually got footage of me like seeing it in a dark room, what card was inside it. Um, and I, sh I share a bunch of ways how to tell if one of the box toppers has already been searched. Like there's easy cosmetic things that you can look for just to know like, yeah, I should probably avoid that because it's probably been searched. Um, if you want to check out that video, then I think it'll be popping up here uh, somewhere at some point right now. Um, but I'm going to stop talking and until next time, peace guys.